All right, we did not finish our notes in class today due to the shortened period. So if you need another example on dividing decimals with annexing a zero, this little video will help you out. So the last problem on the notes was five and four tenths divided by seven and two tenths. So like always, we put the first number that we see in our little division house and the second number goes on the outside. Now, I cannot start to solve this problem because 7.2 doesn't go in to 5.4 very easily. 7.2 is hard to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the decimal ones here and I'm going to move the decimal ones here and I'm going to completely rewrite the problem so that it's easy for me to read. Our new problem is identical to our old problem, but it's easier to solve. It says 54 divided by 72. Now, this is still a tricky problem because 72 doesn't actually go into 54. It goes in zero times. So what I'm going to do is what we talked about in class. I'm going to add some zeros on. I'm going to annex a zero. 54 is the same as 54.0. So I'm going to use 54.0. First thing I'm going to do is raise that decimal straight through the roof, okay? Now I can think about this problem as 72 going into 540, okay? 72 goes into 540. I'm not sure how many times, but I can estimate. I'm going to pretend that's about 70. I'm going to pretend this is about 500. Now, if I count up by sevens, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, uh, 49, 49 gets me pretty close to 50. So I think it might go in seven times. I'm not positive, so I can erase if I'm wrong, but I'm going to put a seven there. Now on the side, I need to check my work. 72 times seven, that would be a 14. Then seven times seven is 49 plus one is 50. It looks like this was the right number, 504. Okay. Now I need to subtract. 0 minus 4, I can't do it, so I've got to borrow. This becomes a 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. 3 minus 0 is 3. And then 5 minus 5 is 0, so I don't have to do anything with that. Now, my remainder of 36 is good because that's less than my divisor of 72. But the problem isn't over because I still have a remainder. So I need to annex another 0. I need to add on another 0 because 54 was my original number, but that's the same as 54.0 or 54.00. So I add on another number so that I can keep on dividing. My number now is how many times does 72 go into 360? Well, I can use my estimation strategy again. 360, I'm going to pretend is 36. 72, I'm going to pretend is 7. So 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, that gets me pretty close, five times. So I'm going to guess that it's a five, but again, I can erase if I don't get it right. 72 times five, five times two is zero and a one. 35 plus one is 36. I subtract 360 and I'm left with zero. So I am done with my problem. My answer here is 75 hundredths. I don't have to do any further decimal moving or anything like that. Um, that's just it. That's the problem. Thanks for watching. Good luck on your homework.